Hello everybody, it's Farmsome Guy here. We are back on Greystone Farm and look what we have picked up. Big thank you to Patton M47 for letting us use his Alice Chalmers here. I did have a chat with him in the week just to confirm this was his and he has confirmed that and he's happy for me to use it. So we have got our perfect little tractor for running our augers and our uh, blowers. So I'm going to run this over here and get rid of that rather uh, nasty big tractor there. It's uh, slowing things down at the moment because we can barely get him beside it because we can utilize him elsewhere. So um, I'm very pleased about this. It's a lot more in keeping with what I wanted. Taking a little bit of time to find it. But uh, if we unhitch this and move this beast out of the way, we can uh, get sorted. Now... Big things happening on the farm today. Big things. Other than the grass harvest that we started um, in the live stream last week, we also now have uh, another field of wheat ready to go. Um, we've sorted our little issues with course play out, which is great. And um, so we can set the combine off in there. Uh, we'll get some more grass into the silos, so we're making some decent uh, food for the cows. And uh, the other big thing that's happened which I will just probably just jump in the truck here and drive over and show you now. We have, if you remember, when we drove over here with the combine in the last episode, we've got a very narrow little road as we drive past one of the uh, lakes on the farm. So what we had done this week is we had it drained. So there we go, the lake has been drained. That is quite a big job now to fill that in. So we've got some contractors coming in with some pretty heavy machinery and they're going to work away on that and get that filled in. I can't imagine them finishing it uh, very quickly. It's such a big job but what it does is open up that piece of land a lot more. There's a huge big field here. We're going to probably plow this up and create a new field with it and join some of the very small fields over there as well. So I'm looking forward to um, expanding the farm with that stuff. But for now, um, we shall get back to hooking up that Alice Charms and we'll wait for that uh, we'll wait for that heavy equipment to arrive. So we will just roll this up. It does have a PTO, which is lucky. But if we get this into the right position, where it's out of the way... Now I'm just going to roll forward and realign myself there because what I don't want is to move that blower too much he says as he crashes into the one in the front <laughs> but if we reverse this properly to the right point there we go, we're going to have to go backwards now a little bit more, there we go, that is perfect ok that's looking good now what I want to do is just go and get some grass and make sure it works and it just so happens we've got an almost full trailer of grass here. So if we fire up the chopper, we will just run a little bit of this, fill the trailer up, and we'll run it back to the farm and make sure it works. So here we go, back to the farm. Now we did leave the tractor running. Hopefully we've not been too far away that it's uh, cut off. And we should just be able to whip around here. And hopefully, if we've lined things up correctly and get close enough to the trigger. Now look at that, that's so much better than having that massive tractor there. Perfect, look at that. An ideal scenario. So, grass unloading. There we go. It's all systems go. Just jumping into here now as well, there we go, we've got over 3,000 litres now of TMR running as well, which is good. Um, doesn't look like it holds that much actually, which is interesting. Need to keep an eye on that. Um, but it looks like we're in a position where we could start to think about sorting the cows out. Right, we'll leave that running. I think I can hear some noise over there, so I'm just going to head over and make sure everything's alright. It sounds like our heavy equipment might be arriving. And I was right, look at that, taking a massive wide turn there through the gate. We've got a serious rig arriving here. 
with a big Volvo excavator on the back. I do believe there's a Volvo um, wheel loader coming as well and a tipper truck. And they're going to head down to where the pond used to be. And they've got a serious, a serious amount of work to do there. It's going to, I think they'll be here for a good few weeks. So he will park up, unload this excavator and get started with the work. So there we go, the ramp unloaded, he rolls forward now to allow the excavator to come off. Lovely Kenworth though, from Expendables. Okay, and we are going to jump onto here. This is from FS Miner, this excavator, you've probably seen it already this week with my uh, forays with the new terra farming mod which we're going to use to help us fill in the ground here and like I said it's not a small job so they're going to be here a little while I think and here is the other piece of machinery we were waiting for there now what we're going to do with this and I'll show you how we're going to do this well, certainly how I'm planning to do this. What we want to do here is flatten ground and discharge mode will be uh, raised ground. The plan is we're going to remove some of the dirt that we have available to us here. As you can see, the bucket is filling up. What we're going to do start to fill in these spaces here. So let's reverse that up again and I'll give you a little bit more of a demo of that because my camera angle wasn't brilliant but we will drop the bucket down so we'll pull forward fill the bucket by scraping some of the land away what we need there as you can see dropping it at the edge of the lake and we'll continue to push our way into the lake and fill up that rather big hole so again roll forward here full bucket there we're going to Take this as far forward as we can, I think, now. There we go. And once we've filled this up, we will start to level it off as much as we can. So like I said, as you can see by the progress here, this is something that's going to take a while. I can't imagine us having this done in the next two or three days, or even two or three episodes. So we will continue to just work away on it in the background paid a lot of money for this uh, crew so uh, hopefully they'll uh, get the job done in double quick time but the aim is for this to be ready in time for sort of planting season really so by the time we've done all the other fields if this is the last one we need to worry about that's what we'll do then as you can see making a good job filling in the edge of the pond here so we're going to leave these guys to crack on I think for now already though if you have a look at that let's just have a wander around here you can start to see they've started to fill in this edge here uh, but a long long way to go yet so like I said we'll leave them to it we've got a lot of farm work to do um, so there's no point in standing around watching these guys so we will come back in a little while and we'll see how they're progressing okay back to matters at hand we are going to grab the gravity wagon and we are going to run round to the other wheat field that we've got ripe and ready to go and we are going to set the combine running in there 
Uh, if you remember back to our live stream the other day, we had a few issues with course play, which we've discovered were down to actually the perimeters of the boundaries of the field, specifically on those fields we were on, which was causing the issue. Um, so I don't think we're going to have any problems today. So we're going to run over to field, I believe it's field 28, if we just pull up our mini-map here. It is behind the cornfield here. Over there, you can just see it in the distance. So we will run over there and then we will go and grab the combine and we will bring that over to the field as well. And we'll set things going in there as well. Um, and what we'll do, we'll pop it on course play, like I said, and then we can leave that to run whilst we get on with a little bit more of our grass harvest. So things are going well. I am enjoying this map, thoroughly enjoying this map. So what we'll do, I think, is drop this. Let's just drop it at the edge of the road here. Let's not get too um, adventurous with it. If we pop this here like this, enough space for the combine to go past. What we're going to do is do self-unload on the combine and let it run like that. But we will leave this here. Uh, and when it's full, we'll get a notification and we'll come and unload it. So we've jumped back to the farm as well, because this is empty. So we might as well run this back to the field next to the chopper. Get the grass picked up. And the combine is parked over there as well, so we'll jump straight into that and move it across the road. So it's all systems go here. It is all systems go. Okay, here we are. Let's just get this chopper hooked up. And then just over there is our combine, which we will go and grab next get into the wheat field okay into the S550 get it fired up get the pipe in and now a week after I wanted to do it I'm going to do a little bit of a demo on uh, course play so we'll run down the road and in at this entrance down here and we'll get things started. Okay, so here we go. So if I pull up to the field just about here. Um, the combine is unfolded, I believe. Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do now is open up the course play menus. And what we're going to do, and this is something I didn't realise when I first started, I thought you had to basically align the start of the course to the very edge of the field that you wanted on. But actually what you need to do, if I go to course play field work and do first waypoint, you basically pick a target and your direction, as long as it's anywhere in that field, and open the course play course generator. Um, basically if you put it anywhere in that field, it seems to work. So if I do three headlands here and I'm going to do sharp corners, uh, clockwise, headland overlap, uh, we'll leave it at 7 actually, we're not going to change too much here. Um, start work on the headlands, as you can see there's a lot more uh, options in here already, it's it's growing quickly um, with the amount of updates they're doing to it, which is fantastic. And there we go, course generated, there it is, there's the course, uh, and we can come out of here. And basically, if I go to my F1 menu, you can see the H has turned into higher AI worker and in brackets CP for course play. So I just need to, if I've got this right, hit the H button. And it should follow that course that we've just set. And it's turning onto the field the right way. And following around as we would expect. Very nice indeed. Now, what I am going to do here is uh, want to turn on the discharge actually. I wonder if I need to uh, stop the combine to do that. Or I can just jump in the menu here and change things. Let's have a look. Straw swath activated and we're going to do combine self unload. There we go. We've changed two options. Let's see if they work. Well there's a straw coming out. So that one's worked. So all we need to do now is wait and see what happens for combine self unload. But so far, so good. We're running our combine on course play. It's doing a pretty good job of getting the majority of this field there. Now in 
Well, I don't have anything more to say than that is running rather smoothly. Uh, nice to see, nice to see, and unloading into the trailer as well. So we are going to leave them to push on with this. He's on his third of three headlands there, and then he's going to do up and down rows after that. So, while he's happy, I'm going to go and pick up some more grass. So, we'll come back in a little while and see how he's getting on. Okay, the combine has just taken himself back to where he was in the field, and I've just noticed we are on 90% in the gravity wagon, so I'm going to run this back to the yard and get our first load of grain into our silos. Which is going to mean unhooking the Alice Chalmers again. Oh well. Um, right, we'll see you back there. Right, here we are back at the yard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll around here, but I won't pull up to the auger straight away. I'll just stop here. And I will just jump out and we'll go and get into the Alice. I just think our timing's bad, to be fair. We're running two jobs at once here. Which isn't ideal, but there we go. Let's roll up to this point here somewhere. There we go, it's actually giving us a connection point. I rolled slightly there. Hopefully we are still over the unload point. It looks like we're good. I need to go and open the lid actually, which you do by doing this. Just about here at there, but if I go back now and jump in, there we go, the bin is open. So all is looking good. All we've got to hope now is when we pull the gravity wagon over. The trigger sees us and unloads. See if we can get as close as we can without clattering the auger. A little bit of a lack of a collision on there has helped us a little bit, but there we go. Grain in and grain going in at the top. So, scooters, workbench, you provided that auger. Very nice indeed. And this is Diniz's uh, edit of the Brent gravity wagon as well. Going really, really nicely. Cunningham moddings. 4440. Brilliant little tractor. And Patton M47. Alice Chalmers there. We've got a nice little system running here. I like that a lot. I've got a funny feeling the combine is going to be ready before we get back at this rate. So we better hurry up. Right, power everything up, and off we go again. We're going to push on with this for a little while. Um, get as much of this into the TMR silo as we can. And then genuinely, I think, probably by next episode, we are going to be in a position where we can start thinking about getting some animals lined up. So, um, I think we will just crack on here. Combine's going well in the other field. Hopefully our uh, pond is getting filled in nicely. I haven't been back to check that for a little while, but we will do that before the end of the episode. But for now, we'll just sit back and do a little bit of grass work. We've got a trailer load here, and we are running it back to the yard. I am not going to swap that Alice Chalmers back over again to the blower just now, so what we'll do is we'll just park this up in the yard, uh, and we will wait for that uh, field of wheat to be combined, and all the grain out of there and into the bins, and then we can uh, 
shift it over then. But uh, yeah, we're we're, uh, we're kind of busy today. Quite enjoying this. So yes, like I said, I will just roll this round here and I'll park it up for now, and we will just wait for a little bit. No desperate hurry because we are mixing feed in there quite nicely now. Um, the straw barn just here as well. Uh, we will need to bale that straw that's on the wheat field as well, and we'll get that dumped into there. That will work for bedding. Um, so it's all systems go. Let's go and check how the uh, combine is doing, and if that uh, Brent wagon needs to be unloaded again. So we go back in the field, 61% full, so he's got a little bit more time to go. But we're making progress through this field quite quickly, which is great to see. And it uh, looks like the combine is running with no hiccups and unloading into the trailer with no issues as well. So that's fantastic. Right. Um, I guess we've got nothing more to do than just to push on and get everything done. So what I'll do, I'll probably end the episode there, but I did think it would be worth going and seeing how uh, the Groundworks crew are doing. So we will jump in here and we will run over. Um, there we go. Let's see how things are progressing. Well, it looks a lot muddier than it did before. But uh, it looks like things are pro well, pr things are progressing well. So this here, at the green at the edge here, was the previous edge of the pond. So they have filled in quite a lot already. Look at that, they have properly shifted some land here. This is uh, this is great to see. Okay, this could well be money well spent. Okay, I'm happy with that. As long as we're making progress. Uh, I can see this turning into a rather nice little bit of land in the end. So very practical, very sensible use of uh, the resources we've got and uh, the ground and the land we've got. So on that note, I'm going to leave these guys to it, and I'm going to say thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.